I saw you delivering food to one of the apartments and I was wondering if I could get right back into the city with you, if you don't mind. Sure. Do you live here? No. I'm doing the same thing you are doing. Delivering a service. I'm Stephanie. I'm from Moscow, if you're wondering about my accent. Catherine, nice to meet you. Oh, it feels like we were destined to meet. I have this feeling sometimes like a chill all over my body. You made my nipples go hot. I definitely think that this meeting was fate. You are different from the person I saw on the television. You talk a lot. <laughs> like Woody Allen. Talking, talking, talking all the fucking time. I just liked what you said on the television, that's all. If you work in the miles, then you must know Fiona. How do you know her? I met her about nine months ago at a private party. I was paid to accompany a gentleman to a function that was being held in a house in the country. He paid me very well. They paid me for the night, bought me a dress for the evening. But a whore knows she's a whore. That is a matter of fact. And you are certainly not that. I met her one night in Ishmael's. We talked and shared a cigarette. She even talked about you. What did she say? You have to ask her this yourself. But then again, if you have to ask, maybe you are not ready to hear the answer. You can pull over here. Our journey together has come to an end. We have only walk on the beach. I know. I don't think you are happy with Sinead. I don't think she loves you. Greta, please, will you just give me some time? I think you're afraid. She had stuck by me when I was in prison and I'm alone. We stuck together, we were mates, and I have responsibilities. What responsibilities? Maybe it is time for you to have a child of your own. No good for me. A smile cannot help me. Lovely, isn't it? No. I miss Iceland. Oh. The man I love has responsibilities. He cannot love me. Sad. Fool. Sometimes it doesn't always work out, no matter how much you love someone. Fool. Thanks. You Welsh are as bad as the Irish. Too much left unsaid. <laughs>